Hey guys, Andre the Farmer here, and we are gonna make some tapache today. If you're not familiar with tapache, tapache is a Mexican drink, and it's made from the skin of a pineapple. This is the pineapple that we harvested from the garden a couple days ago. We've taken off the top and we've already replanted that, but we're gonna go ahead and make the tapache. We've got everything we need here. We've got pineapple, we've got some ginger, this is frozen ginger from the garden from last year. We've got cinnamon, now my cinnamon tree is not big enough to produce cinnamon, so this is actually store-bought cinnamon. And then we've got some, some sugar. Um, you can use honey, you can use cane syrup, you can use whatever you want, anything sweet, but you need that sugar. It's gonna help the fermentation process, and it's also just gonna make, help, help it taste good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this pineapple up, and we use the skins that we already scrubbed, we're gonna put them in there, and that's gonna be our tapache. Add our sugar, and I don't like to measure, I just like to put the amount that feels good. Pretty good. I'm just gonna dissolve our sugar. All right, and we're gonna add our pineapple skins. And we also have the core in here as well. Beautiful. We've got our sugar, our pineapple skins, and our pineapple core. We are gonna slice up a little bit of this frozen ginger. I like ginger in pretty much every drink that I have, so ginger's always part of it. And that's a good amount of ginger right there. We're gonna put our cinnamon sticks. You can put as many as you like, flavor it however you like. And we're going to fill that all the way to the top there. And we're going to add our fermentation weights. And that's just going to help keep everything down so that it's not getting a lot of oxygen in there and it stays pretty anaerobic. And then we're just going to get like a towel, put it over top of this, and we're going to let that sit for a couple days. Four days in. And our tapache looks well fermented. Uh, we're gonna get a strainer. Glad I had everything. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pour it. And what's left behind, we can throw this in the garden. We can go feed our bananas. If we have things like blueberries that are real, that love acidic, things, we can give this to them. I'll probably just throw this to my bananas. But here we have it. This is our tapache. We're gonna pour ourselves a glass. Probably could use a little ice, but we're gonna give it a try like this. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. It's got a little fizz, feels a little carbonated. Really good stuff. All right, see you guys, bye.